Hello everyone, and welcome to Lian Lee's 2021 Digital Expo 2.0. My name is CH, and I'll be your host. This time, our show will be shown in a three-part series. In the first video, we'll be taking a closer look at the updates to our Suno Launch products. For the second video, we've invited GGF and DeBauer to give us their take on true products covered during our last expo. And for the third video, we will cover our new prototypes. We've also prepared a giveaway, which will be announced in the last video. Let's get started. Announced during our last digital expo, each of the following products focus on the smaller form factor, the Q58, the O11 Air Mini, and the A4 H2O. Let's get to it. First off, we have the Q58, a small form factor case that offers impressive modularity, radiator support, and cooling performance. With this two-tone design, the front panel features two finishes while the side panel separates the top and bottom with tempered glass panels and mesh panels. The Q58 can support both ATX and SFX power supplies and mini ITX motherboards. It has plenty of room for up to a 320mm long triple slot GPU and a 280mm radiator. Last seen in its first prototype form, the Q58 underwent a few improvements that benefit both the aesthetics and the functionality of the case. The side mesh and tempered glass panels can now be swapped around or go either full mesh and full tempered glass on one side or move the mesh up top. The new motherboard bracket now provides more clearance at the top for water cooling tubes as well as a mountain position for the SSD. Switching from an SFX power supply to an ATX power supply doesn't require moving the motherboard anymore. Therefore, keeping enough clearance for a 3-slot GPU even in ATX mode. Next, the front mounted SSD removal is now toolless and easier. The front I.O. audio line length has been increased by 50mm for ease of connectivity with more motherboards. And the two RGB light bars are now available as an additional accessory to be installed both at the bottom and at top of the case. The Q58 is expected to launch mid-July at an estimated MSRP of $119.99 for the PCIe 3.0 version and $149.99 for the PCIe 4.0 version. Up next is a new addition to a product line that's been launched in 2018. Focus on providing a minimal footprint without sacrificing compatibility. Ideal for a compact workstation with strong air cooling performance, here is a successor to the O11 Air, the O11 Air Mini. Starting from the outside, the top and rear panels feature a revised mesh that covers a wider area. The front panel is all mesh too. Size-wise, the O11 Air Mini is a compact case at a depth of 400 mm, a width of 288 mm, and a height of 384 mm. Still bearing the name Mini, the Air is capable of supporting full ATX power supplies and motherboards from Mini ITX up to EATX motherboards, thanks to a modular backplate. Hard drive and SSD support is now up to six two and a half inch or four three and a half inch plus two two and a half inch drives. Radiator and fan support goes as follows. At top, three 120 millimeter or two 140 millimeter fans, 240 or 280 radiator. At the side, two 120 millimeter fans or a 240 radiator. At the front, two 120 millimeter or two 140 millimeter fans, 240 or 280 radiator. At the bottom, two 120 millimeter or two 140 millimeter fans, 240 or 280 radiator. And at the rear, a single 120 millimeter fan. The O11 Air Mini will come equipped with two 140 millimeter PWM fans at the front and a 120 millimeter PWM fan at the rear. Available in both black and white, the O11 Air Mini is expected to launch towards the end of July at an MSRP of $99.99 for the black and $109.99 for the white. For our last case in this video, we have another small form factor case, the A4 H2O. A collaboration with Dan Case, the A4 H2O is an SFF case using only aluminum for both the frame and side panels with support for Mini ITX motherboards, SFX or SFXL power supplies, 
as well as enough space for a 240 AIO. Here's a list of improvements made on this case. The overall appearance of the new A4 H2O has been refreshed, following sharper edges and carrying a new style of its own. The front panel IOs and power button have been moved to the left side of the case. A single SSD can now be mounted at the bottom of the case. With the front panel now removable, this means the GPU is easier to install with front access. And the increase in size also means the GPUs of up to 321mm in length and of triple slot design can be used. And lastly, the top of the case now features a removable bracket to simplify the installation of a 240 AIO radiator and fans. The A4 H2O is expected to launch towards the end of October at an MSRP of $129.99 for the PCIe 3.0 version and $159.99 for the PCIe 4.0 version. This wraps up our first video. In our next video, we'll be going over the design changes made on the O11D Evo with the Bauer and the updates made on the V3000 Plus with GGF events. Make sure to also check out our last video where we introduced two new prototypes and have all the details of our giveaway.